Welcome to an IronCAD tips and tricks video here. Uh, today we're going to talk about the property editor here. We have uh, property editor and part properties tab. So i uh, kind of explain some of these. So this is just a, a general part that I just dropped, drag and dropped out into our scene. And if you go to the properties editor, editor, you'll see that it's blank by default in this case. And if you go to the property tab, this will show you the part number description and just generic material here where you can type in just general, uh, general information like part number 123 dash, we'll just call this part for example, and we can hit OK here. So what that's actually doing if you go to the part properties, it's actually setting the part number description and in this case material field uh, here as well. So that's what that's doing for the property uh, part properties tab. And the part properties editor is actually editing any kind of additional uh, properties, could be custom properties, things like that. So for example, if I add one here, uh, I could say like, uh, you know, a type or expression or something like that, but nothing's allowing me to click inside of here. So how this is set up is actually using some, uh, some functionality that we have in our tools options. So if you go to tools options, you'll see two things. Uh, one is this property list, and this property list is allowing you to default uh, custom properties that can be in the, in the drop down list inside of the when you go to a part or assembly for example and you go to the custom properties these all show there as drop down options so you can add or uh, minimize as many as you want here to be uh, customizable inside of there and this default property setting this is what gets used uh, by default when you create uh, parts or assemblies so right now they're set to empty or null uh, but you can create custom uh, settings in here for example we have one that we've created for base and one that i've created for the assembly base so for example uh, this is just by using the add property templates inside of here. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and select the base one and I'll edit that so we can see what it's doing. So if we go to the base inside of here, we'll see that we've added certain things in here. So we went for the part uh, base template. I want every time I create a brand new part, I want the author uh, created, the project created, and these are just some of the general uh, system properties like part number, mass, material settings to be created as well. Uh, if you go into our assembly base, similar things, I just but I just chose different ones here, document number, revision, uh, description, and part number. So I've set these up inside of here. And now when I go ahead and go and set these for new assemblies and new parts and hit OK, when we create new parts or assemblies, so I'm just going to do some basic ones here. So I'm just going to create a part out here and I'll create another part so that we can see that we're going to create an assembly as well. And I'm just going to use our shortcut key to get our assembly which is the S key to bring that up. So now I have an assembly and I have a couple parts inside of here. So now if we go to the part level, which is the cyan color, and we go right click and we go to the properties editor, now you'll see there's additional information that's set up here. So these were the settings that I added in those property templates, the author, project, part numbers, materials. So I can go ahead and select various things in here. For example, if I want to put my name as Kerry for the value inside of their expression value, that's what it's going to pull in here. So this can be an expression I can do two plus two or something like that if it's, these were number fields, uh, things like that. Uh, but anyways, these can allow me to quickly edit those properties without going and searching through them inside of IronCAD. So if you go to the IronCAD part properties, you would have to know to go to part number description here, material setting here, custom properties are here. So you can see that those are moving around inside of the system to grab those, but this is giving you a nice, easy way to access those. And notice that one I created there for Arthur author automatically gets populated as the custom property inside of there. Uh, same thing applied for the assembly. If we go to the assembly and go to the property editors, now those same ones, document number, revision, description, part number are showing up there. Now the difference in some of the things is if you go down to the part level here, I'm going to go to the property uh, part properties tab. So this one has two things. So this is kind of your default configuration. This default configuration is what you're seeing in that edit. Uh, editor that you saw there. So that's the information that's showing there. And it's just giving you another way to access it here as a default configuration. Uh, but the properties have some additional things. So for example, for parts, the material is a little bit different here. Instead of, um, you know, you can type in uh, values here. Uh, let me think it's here actually. Sorry, the default configuration materials are different that you can actually edit the materials here and save uh, specific materials. So you know, if you're using IronCAD, you can come into our materials catalog and drag and drop materials on any particular part, but you can also do this here. So if I wanted to edit the material for this guy, I can select that, which will bring up our material properties. So we can select standard ones here. So if we want to select a steel, uh, let's just say a, a cast carbon steel, for example, uh, there's a couple settings here. You need an okay to apply this, or you can also uh, collect this. What this collect means is actually adding it to that drop down list. So if we'll go ahead and hit collect and then hit okay, so that's going to set that material, but it's also going to add it to this list. So you can see now that that cast carbon steel is there for any other part that I select. So I can select this other part over here, go to that part properties tab, 
the default configuration. And again, those two will be sitting there. I can select either one of those and apply that uh, uh, inside of that material. So that's a way to do that uh, on your, uh, your settings inside of there. So this is actually using both, I'm uh, oh, sorry, those settings are actually using this default property templates. Again, from before, you can add these, edit these. You can get different ones for different types of parts. We have a sheet metal part, a regular part, and you can have custom ones here as well. So you can change this as you're designing. Like for example, if you're doing uh, imported parts, you may want to change this to like, uh, you know, uh, supplier parts that you're going to use and have separate settings that you're getting, like what supplier that it's pulling from uh, and, and things like that. So you can adjust this for what you need for that and that will make it easier for you to use uh, these uh, part property editors to quickly get uh, information uh, applied to those. So there's another way to edit these is to go into the system properties, uh, which we go into the file uh, under the menu. You can see an option called bulk modify. So it's kind of a, what we call a system property, but basically it's acting more like a bomb. So you can see all the columns that are there. You can adjust those by setting set properties. You can adjust what you see and what you don't see inside of here. Uh, this is the show properties on the left. These are the ones not to show. So you can adjust what's being uh, shown there and you can click into here and type these individually. So it's a little faster to modify these on a, a, a kind of like a bulk scale. That's kind of why it's set up that way. And you can, like, for example, you could copy and paste this into multiple fields if you like. You can also go into the, the selection area over here on the left. And if you got this highlighted, once you double click in there, that will also bring up the property editor there as well. So you can do it as uh, a simple way to do it by accessing it here versus doing it in the scene. So just a, another way to do this. And you can also create a bomb and output this bomb as well uh, for an Excel report if you like. But this bomb control is basically using the kind of the same controls as the part properties are that you found here, the part properties editor and the part properties tab. So hopefully this gives you a little bit more information about how to use this part property editor. So it's really just kind of a convenience function instead of having to know where everything is in IronCAD's assembly properties or part properties where things are, are situated inside of here from the material and the custom properties. So manually go down into those, you can quickly access those with these editors inside of here to make it a lot faster to edit those properties inside of the IronCAD scene. Hopefully you enjoyed.